warm-hearted viewers, this is Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today we are honored to feature Mike Anderson, author of the book, The Rave Diet and Lifestyle, on our program. The term RAVE is an acronym which stands for No Refined Foods, No Animal Foods, No Vegetable Oils, and No Exceptions and Exercise. He is also the producer of three superb films on health and eating, Healing Cancer from Inside Out, Eight Minutes, and Eating. Mr. Anderson's works examine the overwhelming evidence that following a plant-based diet leads to a life of overall excellent health. My father died of cancer. My stepfather died of heart disease. My mother has severe osteoporosis. My sister-in-law is diabetic. A friend of mine was just diagnosed with breast cancer. My neighbors on heart medicines and cholesterol-lowering drugs. All this sound familiar? What's not so familiar is that these health problems were caused by eating habits. In fact, eating is the biggest cause of disease, disabilities, and death in the U.S. today. And according to the Surgeon General, eating kills two out of three Americans every year. Mike Anderson, during his early 50s, decided it was an appropriate point in his life to take some time for introspection. He began to read such books as the acclaimed Diet for a New America by vegan, meaning an animal-free diet advocate, John Robbins. From his readings, here is what he concluded. My God, I've stumbled on this big secret that you can reverse diseases with simple changes in diet. And to me, I'd never heard this before. Of course, my field is in computers, and so I, you know, I had no reason for me to hear about it. But I said, my God, this should be headline news. I should be knowing about this instead of all the drug discoveries and everything, because you can reverse heart disease, for example, with simple changes in diet. You can reverse type 2 diabetes in one or two weeks very easily with just simple diet. You can reverse cancers. You can reverse virtually any degenerative disease, and that's what's killing 80% of the population right now is degenerative diseases. An animal-based diet can lead to serious and fatal illnesses. When people in other parts of the world abandon their traditional plant-based diets and start eating like Americans, they start dying like Americans. The pattern is not only obvious, but totally predictable. No matter where you look, when people adopt animal-based diets, heart disease and cancer suddenly become their biggest killers. This is now happening throughout the world in countries like Japan and China, where they're replacing rice and vegetables with meat and dairy products. And American eating diseases are spreading like wildfire. The one thing an animal-based diet does best is kill people. It does this by clogging arteries and restricting the flow of blood and oxygen throughout the body. Deprive the heart of oxygen, you get a heart attack. Deprive the brain of oxygen, you get a stroke. Deprive your tissues and cells of oxygen, and you set up the underlying cause of all cancers. If we make our diet free of animal products, diseases will disappear. Virtually all of heart disease is caused by diet. And now heart disease or cardiovascular disease. And that means clogged blood vessels throughout the body. Heart disease is just one subset of cardiovascular disease. Type 2 diabetes, 100% caused by diet. 100%. And you can, how do we know this? We can reverse it with diet and very easy. It's been shown time and time again. It's been proven. Now, there is a cure for diabetes. I'm here to tell you, take, give me any diabetic and I will reverse it. Get them off insulin. You can completely heal diabetes and very, very quickly. In most cases, five to seven days. We have a few cases that are particularly severe 
It might take two weeks. Uh, we find in five to seven days, someone with type 2 diabetes, if they eat a 100% uh, plant-based diet, they're no longer on insulin. I, I haven't seen that not happen. Now, osteoporosis is, an, is another one. Our acidic diet essentially uses up the calcium in our bones. Uh, that results in osteoporosis. Cancer is another one. We shouldn't have any cancer. Uh, our bodies are capable of handling toxins in the environment. Genetics only accounts for a couple percent, and even genetics can, can be trumped by diet. Bad genes don't express themselves, in other words, with a good diet. With a bad diet, they're going to come out and play. When we return, Mr. Anderson will share more with us about the medical evidence that shows the tremendous advantages of keeping a vegan diet. You are watching Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Healthy Living for our discussion with author and film producer Mike Anderson on how our dietary choices are so crucial to preventing and reversing illnesses. Here Mr. Anderson discusses the fact that prominent members of the medical community support the vegan diet for treating heart disease. Two doctors have estimated that uh, you know 75 to 85 percent of the people in the hospital are there because of their diets. You know, the, you got the broken arms and uh, car accidents and that sort of thing. But the, the vast majority are there for the, because of the diet. Dean Ornish, for example, he did the, the foundation study for reversing heart disease. And it was uh, published in peer-reviewed journals. Uh, and, you know, he is, he is very, very credible. John McDougall's another one. Joel Furman's another one. Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn from the Cleveland Clinic, he's another one. He has the longest heart disease reversal study ever out there. But he is reversing heart disease with diet and eating. I interviewed Neil Pinckney. He was scheduled for emergency bypass operation. And what he did was he walked away from it. He knew what that involved. And what he did, he set out to discover on his own how to reverse his heart disease. He went on the internet, he finally discovered Dr. Dean Ornish in his book. Uh, what happened with him is amazing because he couldn't walk 200 feet without experiencing severe angina. And within two weeks after changing his diet, the angina was gone, almost all gone. Within two months, it was completely gone. Seven months later, he was running in an eight and a half mile marathon and finished in the middle of the pack. Now here's a guy scheduled for emergency bypass surgery. Seven months later, he's in a marathon. That, no drug in existence, no operation can do that. Bypasses are a temporary fix. Angioplasty is a temporary fix. Statin drugs, they just allow you to continue living with a the disease. They don't cure it. Diet is the only cure for that. And so I was stunned. I wanted to get something out to help promote the message. Mike Anderson believes that to truly enjoy optimum health, one must be a healthy vegan. This means avoiding refined foods as well. Bad food means uh, food that has too much saturated fat, that has cholesterol in it, that has a lot of toxins in it, uh, is contaminated. When you look at our, our beef supply, for example, or any animal, animal supply, they are eating crops that are heavy with pesticides. In fact, crops destined for, to be fed to cattle, there are virtually no regulations on the pesticides they can spray on the crops. So it's in fact, 95% of the pesticide intake uh, comes from animal foods that we eat. Bad foods are the refined foods, are your white bread, the refined sugar with their simple sugars but vegetable oils too, because it's a refined food. You don't see vegetable oil cans hanging off trees or anything like that. Many misconceptions surround the consumption of fish. What would you say to people who, who think, okay, fish doesn't have like um, fats and you know cholesterol and that, what would you say to them? 
well, fish does have fat. It does have cholesterol. You look at the salmon, people are eating fish because of omega-3s. Well, where did the omega-3s come from originally? The algae that they eat off plant foods have plenty of omega-3s. Fish, you know, the average salmon is 60% fat. It's full of cholesterol. Shrimp is the highest uh, amount of cholesterol per calorie of any animal on the planet. Yeah, it's, it's no different. It just has a fin instead of a hoof. You know, that's, that's about the only difference between a fish and a cow. Governments definitely have a vital role to play in changing the way people eat. The problem to me is all of these bad foods are subsidized. Sugar industry subsidized, meat and dairy subsidized. Every bad food is, has heavy, heavy subsidies behind it. Uh, we're talking billions, tens of billions of dollars worth of subsidies to prop them up. Now, these same people who run these industries are all saying, oh, I like uh, the free enterprise system and no government interference. Well, we want a free market. Well, I agree with them. Let's have a free market. Let's get rid of the subsidies altogether. The health of the nation will improve a thousand percent because of it. Milk and dairy will be too expensive. Sugar will be too expensive. All of these are political subsidi subsidies going in to artificially uh, support that market. So I'm, I'm in favor of free markets. Let them be free and our health will improve. That's, to me, the bottom line, because there's a, anyone will tell you who knows, there's a direct connection between what we're eating and the diseases we're getting. The linchpin behind that is the subsidies that allow this food to be so cheap. And that's why people are eating so much. What the governments, um, what do you think their role could be in this? What could the governments do to improve the nation's health and, uh, you know, change our diets? Just get rid of the subsidies. Uh, that'll do it overnight. Let the market take care of it. Remember to join us next Monday for the second segment of our interview with author and film producer Mike Anderson on the virtues of the plant-based diet. Our esteemed viewers, it was very much a pleasure to have you join us today for this edition of Healthy Living. Up next is Science and Spirituality after Noteworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. May God's grace be with you.